Hello my guys, my name is Slav and welcome to my channel. Today we are at a very unique place. This is a beautiful river, but it's not just a simple river. There is an old legends are told around that places. The legend sounds like this, that a lot of years ago there was a railroad. That sounds crazy, a railroad near here? <laughs> but why not? Maybe, everything is possible. But this railroad was closed, because once upon a time a big train has been derailed from the railroad and this massive train has fallen into that river. And today I'm gonna check if this is true or false. For these things I'm gonna need a scuba suit. Let's dive right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. Once diving has started, we had a lot of problems. Of course, I was not diving alone, I was diving with my friend. We too have that mission to find out if there is any trains under the water. Who knows? The first problem we faced is the temperature of that water. It looks like summer, it looks like everything is alright, but the temperature of that river is about 15 degrees Celsius. It's super cold for the water. Another problem was that we had no idea where we should go. It's like a desert. You can see anything under the water. After about 10 or maybe 15 minutes of diving, we found nothing, only sands and rocks. After researching all that river, we start thinking that there is no train, because the average depth was like uh, from 8 to 12 meters, that's not too much, but anyway, it was cold. Then we started going deeper. We didn't know what to expect, but there was another problem. My body partner has started freezing because of because uh, the temperature of the water was super low. It was like about 10 degrees Celsius. For water is super cold. He started getting freezy. That was dangerous for us, for me and for my partner, but we decided to continue our journey.
We spent another 20 minutes underwater and still we have no any idea if we can find anything under the water in that river. We saw it. We saw something strange. It, from, from the distance it was looking like uh, something dark, but it differs from all the desert sands or from underwater. We thought that was a train. And yes, this is a train. This is, I think, the only in the world underwater train. So, now we understood that it's, it's not just a myth or anything like this, not just a legend. It was a true that some day ago that huge and massive train was derailed nearby. So we decided to get inside of the train and see if there is anything interesting. As you see, I had a problem because of my big ass. I was stuck, but it didn't, it didn't take too much for me to get inside that train. Look how amazing it is. It's just unbelievable underwater train some time ago there was passengers and now there are only dirt and mud and there was another wagon but first we saw some strange things like 
air balls, air balloons. I don't know what is that, but it looked dif differently from other things, and this was strange. But before I got into another wagon, I found an interesting thing. <laughs> I really thought that was a spear and I decided to scare my partner, but he was already cold, so I decided not to throw into him, so we to other direction. After having a little bit of fun, we decided to continue our mission and we have to get into another wagon. While I was looking for some interesting things in train, I decided to leave a message for my viewers, especially for you. So please, if you are still watching this video and if you are not subscribed, subscribe to my channel right now. I will appreciate your help very much. But still, we still had a train to C4 and we are starting to look at other wagons. We decided to go forward. It was kind of same, same rusty wagon and all things covered with green mud and dirt. But anyway, it was still interesting. In the end of the wagon, I saw something strange. I didn't get if it's a ball, if it's a head. What was it? If you have any ideas, write down your comments below, please. Because I was a little bit of frightened of that thing because I have no idea what is that. So we have to keep going. And then I saw again my partner and he was still cold. He was freezing. But we had to complete our mission. We have to we had to see everything in that train. So he and me decided to still continue our mission but it was really dangerous for my partner he was completely freezing mm -hmm. 
my friend is completely frozen, so I decided to leave that train. First, of course, I've decided to see how this metal things works. And they're still working because it's crazy. This thing is <laughs> tens, maybe 50. Who knows how much is underwater? No idea. But it's still working. Maybe it can, can go on the rails. Who knows? But anyway, I have to save my partner and we decided to get up. When you're going into diving, you're starting to understand that everything is not as simple as it looks like. You cannot just go up whenever you want. You have to spend some time on a specific depths. this thing called safety stop. But my friend was completely frozen and this safety stop literally was killing him. But anyway, we finished our safety stop and finally got up and we met the air. <laughs> That's how was it. This was our big journey under the water. And we found a train. <laughs> a train 
Not as just a simple train, a train that was a legend, a myth, but now it's a completely true. And now we have video that everything is true, not just a legends or stories. It's a complete true, and now you can also believe in that story. And I hope you liked my video, and you put your like down below, leave your comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe. My name is Slav, and see you soon, guys.